What is up guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. If you guys are new, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Down below, I'm trying to get 10K by next year. That's been my goal. I'll like put a clip on the screen of me saying that. My goal this year is for 10,000 subscribers. I'm at 3,600 right now. Didn't expect to be this close to 10K this early, but like I'm stoked on it. So thank you guys so much. And I've realized that I have to just keep pouring out videos. I want to like gain subscribers. So that's what I'm gonna do. With that all being said, let's just jump into this video. And this video is three ways to make a living off of scootering. And I know all you guys are probably sitting at home like, I love scootering. I'd love to make a living off it. You guys don't want to go work a nine to five for the rest of your life doing something that you hate. You don't have to. So I'm going to show you guys three ways to make a living only scooter riding. And obviously these aren't going to be so simple. You're going to have to put in some work if you want to make a living doing your passion. But you know that quote, do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. So yeah, let's do it. Starting with the most straightforward one dimensional way to make money in scootering is to be sponsored. A lot of pro scooter riders are really good and they get paid absolutely nothing. But there are some really good scooter riders out there that are getting paid a fair bit by sponsors such as Envy or Mad Gear. I actually know a person who's on Mad Gear Pro and he told me that he gets paid $150 a month. And if you guys know anything about money, that is absolutely nothing I hope there's a few bad gear writers out there that are actually getting bigger checks of course even if you get super good it doesn't mean you're gonna get sponsored and get paid because you have to like actually have something to offer the company that's gonna sponsor you if you have zero followers but you can quad backflip they don't really need to sponsor you they sponsor you as an asset you have to have something to offer for them you have to be able to get them sales you guys have to be really unique be really good you have a small chance that you're gonna get sponsored and paid a living because scootering there's not much money in scootering people are gonna be like Yo, Mr. Mix. but like there are companies out there but they're greedy let's just take envy for example they have enough money to pay their riders really well well and look max peters they signed a new contract with max peters he left he said they weren't paying him enough just started a youtube channel just reviewing other parts and stuff so it just goes to show envy doesn't pay their riders enough i guess envy is just so greedy that they don't pay their riders yet they can buy themselves giant sailboats and stuff getting that out of the way next way to make money as a scooter rider is a pretty popular one is to start a youtube channel so there's a lot of money to be made on YouTube and I know I'm not making very much money but like that's not what I'm worried about that's not why I'm in it I'm just kind of doing it because I like it and there are scooter riders out there that make a lot of money on YouTube and a lot more than you think just for example we'll take Jack Doubt and Jack Doubt as you guys know quit making YouTube videos he doesn't post anymore but if you go to look at his view counts he's making roughly a hundred to two hundred dollars every day and he doesn't even post any videos working a minimum wage job for about eight hours a day would get you around the same amount of money Jack Dowd is getting. That is if you're working every single day and this kid's doing pretty much nothing. And I'm sorry about the lighting changes. The sun is going behind the clouds and I can't help it. The sun is my lighting because I'm too broke to afford ring light. A lot of scooter riders out there are making tons of money just making videos. Some of them aren't even good. No, I'm just kidding. My videos, I just want to like make it as far as I can making YouTube videos. A lot of YouTubers are making a lot more than you think, such as John Ray's. You guys probably think, oh, John Ray's. Like, nobody watches his videos. Like, who's John Ray's? John Ray's gets so many views. He's making thousands of dollars right now. Surprised me at first because I remember John Ray's always being like that quiet guy. Like, he tries to make YouTube videos, but nobody will watch them because he's just like quiet and doesn't really like express himself. But apparently, that's not the case. And he he gets a lot of freaking views so be sure to John like I'm actually pretty proud of him no Tony fan tried to roast him but okay and the third way to make money through scootering is by working for a scooter company or like a scooter camp I'll take two riders for example one isn't very good at riding he's good he's just not like at a pro level and then there's another one who is really good first one I'm taking is Earn Daddy Ernie, the scooter rider rapper. He is the scooter director at Woodward. He gets paid by Woodward pretty much to hire camp counselors and pretty much just like hang out with kids all day at like the best skate park in the world. I'm not saying like go be the scooter director of Woodward. There are ways you can make money through scooter camps. You can get a job as a counselor. You could work for another camp such as Ohio Dreams. Evolve camps. I know a few kids that work for them. There's just ways to make money just by like riding. In the future, I feel like there's going to be more camps and more opportunities for you guys to make money just by scootering and stuff like that. So Ernie pretty much hires any counselor at Woodward. So if you ever apply to become a counselor, I don't because I'm Canadian. I feel like it'd just be so difficult. But like if you're American and you're applying, Ernie's the one that's going to pick you out of a hat. And it's not that easy to become a Woodward counselor. Like I know a few of you guys did apply and you just got right on. But I've heard from 
from a few people, a few pros actually, that it's not as simple as you may think. Honestly, that'd be the best job ever. Just imagine working at McDonald's and then imagine working at Woodward. Like obviously you're gonna have to do some work at Woodward, but like just so much sicker, bro. That's pretty much all I had to say for this video. I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys to enjoy and watch. I mean, like, I don't know. So I just wanted you guys to like learn a few ways to make money at scootering because of course I don't want you guys to all have to do something you hate. Obviously, if you guys have a passion for being like an accountant or you have a passion for construction, you wanna be an electrician or something like that. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying, if you guys are scooter riders and you like scootering, you're probably gonna want a scooter as a career. And I know it's very unlikely, a one in a million chance that you're gonna go anywhere with scootering. No, not really, but like, it's just like, you gotta put in the work if you wanna make a living off scootering. Like Ryan Williams is getting paid from Nitro Circus a $1 million a year contract. A doctor who has to go through medical school for like 10 years gets paid around 100 grand a year. So, also, I'm gonna show you guys these stickers again because apparently in my last video I didn't show you guys them well enough. So, here they are. They are samples. I don't have a bunch made, okay? A lot of you guys were messaging me like, oh man, I need to buy one, but they're not out yet, okay? So, I got these samples done by a guy that I met at a thrift store and he gave me his number and he's making them for me. Super nice guy. I don't know how much they're gonna cost, so I don't know if I'm actually gonna get them or not because I feel like I wanna make thousands. So, he made me this big one. And yes, it says the traditional thing, scooters get dogs, and yeah, it's like a very high quality sticker compared to my last one. Like you have to like peel this clear part off here, and then like, kind of like stick it on like a vinyl. Smaller size is like this. I gotta make them even smaller than this. I feel like four inches wide is like the ideal width, because you guys are gonna be putting them on your helmets and scooters, so they gotta be a little bit smaller. If you guys like the stickers, let me know. If you guys have any video ideas, make sure you guys let me know. I'm planning on making tons of scooter videos this summer, not just inside my room. I'm not even in my room today. I decided to film it in the hallway again. I'm gonna be making tons more scooter action-packed dope videos this summer, and I hope you guys enjoy my channel and like all my videos. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys hit the like button. It helps me. So, yeah, peace out. See you guys in the next one. Y'all. Yeah.